What's up guys? Today's video, we are doing a Wingstop mukbang. I actually had you guys vote on a poll and y'all voted for Wingstop, so that is what we are doing today. I have secured the Wingstop bag and it smells so freaking good. So I am very excited. Let me actually get the table out and we'll get everything set up and I will show you guys all the food and then we will dive in. Okay, got the table out. Let's see what's in our big Wingstop bag. Ooh, okay, so here's the voodoo fries. I love their voodoo fries. Pretty much any time Gabe and I go to Wingstop, I always gotta get the voodoo fries. I just think they are so good. And then we have... Okay, so here's the bone-in wings, and I got lemon pepper. I did get all flats, but they did not give me all flats. Oh my gosh, and I actually paid extra for all flats, but they gave me two drumsticks. Dang, that kind of sucks. It was like $1.50 extra for all flats, and they didn't even give me all flats. Okay, well, it's all good. I'm not even near Wingstop anymore, so I can't even go back in and say anything. I like drove all the way back somewhere else to find better parking. Okay, last up we have boneless wings because they did have a deal on boneless wings today because it's currently Tuesday. They had 70 cent boneless wings and I was like, <laughs> yes, I gotta get boneless wings. They are only 70 cents. So we got some lemon pepper boneless wings as well as the Cajun. The Cajun actually look those look pretty red and spicy. If I'm being totally honest, I also think boneless wings are way easier to eat on camera. I know a lot of you guys like the bone-in wings, and I actually prefer the bone-in wings, but they're just kind of hard to eat on camera, so that's why I got the boneless. But I wanted to get bone-in too, so we got a good mixture. And then we got our ranch, which, okay, come on. Wingstop has the best ranch. Okay, how to get the bag out of the way. But yeah, I think Wingstop has the best ranch. I believe it's homemade and it's so good. Like I wish they would sell their ranch in their store because I would buy so much of their ranch. It's just so delicious. What should we try first? I did dip this wing in for my thumbnail. So maybe we'll try this first. And this is one of the bone in lemon pepper, lemon pepper bone and wing. Did I mention that before? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so delicious. Fun fact, I've actually never had Wingstop's lemon pepper, but I had lemon pepper wings maybe like a week or two ago from Buffalo Wild Wings, and I was so blown away. I was like, I gotta try the lemon pepper from Wingstop. I know it's a really popular wing flavor. I actually always would get the Louisiana rub but I actually think this is better than the Louisiana rub. This is delicious. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is so good. Let's try the boneless now. And I actually have something that I want to talk to you guys about, a little discussion. More so, it's just me saying thank you to those of you who do this because I really appreciate it. Wow. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I have heart eyes right now.
Okay. The lemon pepper on the boneless. That's delicious. But yeah, so those of you who do this, just know I really appreciate you for doing this. I just think you are like so amazing and so sweet. So obviously on my YouTube videos in the comment section, occasionally I will get the negative comment here, here and there. Little hate comments sprinkled in. <laughs> or just someone criticizing me or interrogating me about something just like asking questions that they really don't have any business asking but in general just leaving a, a mean comment right i try i try very hard not to respond obviously these people are leaving the comment because they want to get a reaction out of me So I know it's better for me to just not respond, right? Um, but it's very hard not to respond. So I feel like I need to defend myself. But not every action deserves a reaction. So yeah, I just try not to respond, even though some comments make me really mad <laughs> and I wanna respond, but I don't. Okay, with that being said, when you guys respond for me and you defend me i just appreciate it so much um i just want y'all to know how much i appreciate it You defending me, defending me when people leave a mean comment and yeah, I just really appreciate it so much because I just feel like it shows how much you guys love me. I don't know. I just want y'all to know like how much that means to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, those voodoo fries, those voodoo fries are everything mm. let's try one of the Cajun boneless wings mm. wow that's really good too It's not hot, but has a really good Cajun flavor to it. I do like the lemon pepper more though. I used to be really bad about responding to mean comments. Anytime I would read a mean comment, I would respond instantly, like trying to defend myself or just. Mm. I don't know, just giving a reaction. These lemon pepper bone and wings. These are just magical. Dipped in the ranch. Mm.
They are so good. My friend does this thing where she she peels all the meat off of the off the wing and eats it that way. Like she just eats it with her finger like this. Dips it in the ranch. Like she doesn't bite directly off the bone. <laughs> Which I guess is like just as messy, but She's very talented at it. Okay, let's just get more of these. These fries, I could literally go to Wingstop and just get their fries, which I actually have done that before. <laughs> Gabe got Wingstop actually not that long ago and I wasn't really in the mood for wings. Probably because I just wasn't that hungry. So I just got the Voodoo fries. Mm. they just hit the spot no matter what one of you guys commented <laughs> on the poll and said that you or I, you just said that wingstop fries suck but i love them i love the sogginess of them ma'am they're just really really delicious I actually see why people like their bone and wings better than the boneless wings their boneless wings are very bready and that's the only thing I don't like about them I think the place that has the best boneless wings is Zaxby's. Mmm. They're so good. If y'all haven't tried Zaxby's boneless wings, and you have Zaxby's near you, highly recommend. I actually do like the Cajun. Hmm. I like the Cajun on the boneless because it's not as uh, crispy and bready. I think because the Cajun kind of works through the breading and softens it up, so it makes the bite a little bit more enjoyable. Whereas the lemon pepper is that dry, more of like a dry rub boneless wing. I don't know. <laughs> It's hard to say. It's all really good. Let me know what you guys like from Wingstop. I was gonna ask y'all to give me recommendations, but I didn't know what was gonna win. And I literally just posted the poll like last night. So I didn't have time to ask y'all what was good. And I wanted something different than what I usually get. I know their lemon pepper is really popular, so I just want the lemon pepper. I'm also parked in one of my usual parking spots, which is in front of a Starbucks. And every time I park here, it always makes me want Starbucks. So... I think I'm going to have to stop at Starbucks once I finish eating this. I always want coffee in the afternoons too because I'm coming back from my lunch break and I'm going back to work and I just want a good old coffee to get me through the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, I was doing so well and then I dropped ranch on my shirt Ugh. of course I love my outfit today it's super cute I posted it on Instagram this is actually a beach cover-up <laughs> it's like a black crochet dress that's 
it ties like the back is totally open if you guys can see and it ties in the back so the whole back is open um but it cinches you in because of the tie so usually you would wear this with a bikini top but i paired it with just this little black triangle bra and then i have black flared pants on and the dress goes right over your butt oh sorry my camera died but yeah the dress goes right over your butt if that makes sense so it's a very short dress but it like over the black flared pants it looks like just a long shirt if that makes sense it's a really cute outfit though but I am excited to wear this over a bikini of course um, I actually have been going to the pool and tanning because I just got really sorry let me open up this other ranch but yeah, I got pretty pale and I was self tanning, which you guys were asking me um, pretty frequently what fake tanner I was using. It's actually called Bondi Sands in Ultra Dark. So if y'all are interested in fake tanning, I would definitely recommend Bondi Sands. It's so good. I had the color Ultra Dark, but they have a few different shades. So definitely recommend uh, Bondi Sands. But anyways, I just get really... <laughs> sick of fake tanning after doing it a few times because it is kind of a lot of work especially when you're filming videos once the tan starts to fade it doesn't look great so then you have to scrub it off and redo it which I would want to do that so that So I could have a fresh tan for my video. It was just too stressful. <laughs> way, way, way too stressful because I also do my own nails. So not only was I having to worry about like my nails and redoing them when they got bad, but I was also having to like redo my tan. It was just too much to keep up with. <laughs> so as soon as it started getting hot outside, I ran to the pool. I ran so fast. I took my little pale booty out there and I got some sun. And now I finally feel a bit better. I mean, I just prefer myself with a tan. That's literally just how it is. I think a lot of people look so amazing <laughs> with like pale skin, no tan, no sun on their skin. And I'm so jealous. I am so jealous. I wish I could look good pale. <laughs> I just don't think I do. I don't feel myself when I'm pale. I just feel like I'm one of those people that look better with a tan. Okay, I have one more flat, one more drumstick. I'm sorry for all the like covering my mouth and using the napkin. I really don't mind messy eating, but I know a lot of people don't like messy eating <laughs> so I try to eat as clean as possible because I feel like people who like the messy eating they're more likely to be able to like watch the more clean eating whereas people who hate messy eating I, I don't think they want to watch messy eating, if that makes sense. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be lemon peppered out after this. <laughs> There's a lot of lemon pepper. Hopefully I haven't had pepper in my teeth the whole video. 
you know the pepper check when you eat something that has a lot of pepper in it and you're like with your friend or your boyfriend you're like i got something in my teeth <laughs> and you gotta like check each other's teeth it's nothing worse than having something in your teeth and nobody tells you and then it's just like you get home from a long day out or a long night out and then you check the mirror you got something in your teeth and you're like dang everyone around me is fake nobody had the guts to tell me i had something in my teeth <laughs> mm. yeah the occasion's really good Wow. This has been a delicious mukbang. You guys gotta let me know if y'all wanna see more local places. There's so many mukbangs I wanna do at local food places. I just don't know if y'all would be interested in that since they are more local. But I would love to do more local food mukbangs. I just do so much fast food on my channel because I know that's what you guys like. And that's what y'all click on. But I'm totally down to experiment and do places that I've never done before. If y'all would find that enjoyable. Okay, well... I think I'm pretty full. <laughs> that was a lot of wings and fries. Ugh. Some ice cold water to wash it down. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to be it for this Wingstop mukbang. I hope you all enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.